guys welcome back to Kali J's kitchen today I'll take you back in the kitchen with me and I'll show you guys how to clean and store your ackee for future use don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video all right so this is my ackee guys so I'm gonna start by showing you how to clean the, your ackee with the knife some persons like to use a knife because it's a little bit easier but to be honest just using your hand alone to clean your ackee is a little bit easier. So you always want to make like a triangle looking um, in your in your ackee. So you want to slit the one side and slit the other side and you want to do that evenly. When you open your ackee, there's a pink tissue or vein that you always want to remove from your ackee. You don't want to cook your ackee with that in there all right you always want to ensure that you remove it and you want to ensure that you gently do it because if you don't then it's a possibility that it might break apart and then you have to just keep on going over and then eventually some persons just throw with the ackee because they can't bother then you always want to go in and use a knife and any excess thing that you don't want on your ackee you can always use a knife to just remove that so now I'm going to use my hand. So basically what I did, I just went ahead and just wring the top of the ackee, which is the seed, and pull it out. That's basically it. But eventually, you see, I have to go in with my knife because there are some things in the ackee that needs to be removed. And we don't want to eat our ackee with anything that's not supposed to be in, in there, all right? So I'm just going to continue to just use a knife. And some persons might want to ask other persons to clean their aki for them always ensure that you check your aki before you cook it all right whether or not somebody do it for you, you always want to check it properly and guys always remember that you want to ensure that your aki is open fully before you use your aki don't force open your aki all right because it can be poisonous Alright, so this is my ackee and you always want to go ahead and just search because sometimes you might have one and two that, you know, the seed is still on. So this is my vegetable oil. You can always use um, olive oil. So I'm going to pour it over my ackee, combine everything together. This helps to... Um, this, when you pour the, the oil over it, because I'm going to store it in the fridge, this helps to keep my ackee together. So when I'm... When, Sorry, once I'm going to cook it and you start to boil it up in the boiling water, it doesn't um, mash out in the water. Alright? So you want to always ensure that all of your ackee get coated with the vegetable oil. And basically this is what it looks like. So I'm going to go in and store this in a Ziploc bag. And guys, please to store your aki in a clean container and a container that can be closed properly. Alright, so this is it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to just remove the excess air from my ziplock bag and then i'm going to place this in the fridge and that is it so i'm going to come back and show you guys how to cook your aki your frozen aki in another video so make sure you subscribe and i hope you guys enjoy this small video make sure you tell your friends tell your family members about Kali J's kitchen thank you guys so much for watching and see you tomorrow for another awesome recipe bye